So everyone's heard of the gut microbiome. It's pretty, unless you've been living under a rock, it's, it's pretty hard to miss. So everything on TV and newspapers and Facebook and social media, uh, anything to do with health now seems to be trending towards things to do with the gut microbiome. However, it's not the only microbiome in the body. And one of the other big ones that we have is the microbiome on the skin. Now, with all of this research that's starting to come out with the microbiomes of the body, what we're noticing is people are starting to focus on treating the microbiome uh, as a means to improving health. Now, there's only one problem with this, and that is the microbiome interacts with our own human physiology. So if you think of the body, we're about 50% bacterial cells and possibly even more, and we're 50% human cells. Now, what happens is the bacterial cells or the microbiome keep the human cells healthy. The human cells keep the microbiome healthy. Now, when we look at things like uh, disturbances of the microbiome in the gut, what we notice is things like uh, people's nutritional status starts to change. So people don't absorb vitamins and minerals quite as correctly. Uh, their hormones start to change. When we look at the skin, we'll find that the skin becomes dry, it becomes dehydrated. Uh, we find that the pH of the skin starts to change. Now, one way is to, is to try and correct the microbiome deficiency, but what you've got to remember is that if, we, if we've got the body that's actually deficient in nutrition, then the microbiome isn't going to flourish either. So what we need to do is treat them both at the same time. Now, what we need to do in order to do this is we need to look at what's happening inside your body and on the external side of your body, so on your skin as well, and we need to personalise something to correct these deficiencies. So internally what we would look at doing is taking a, a pathology and finding out what your body's deficient in, and then we would supplement and correct that in a personalised fashion. So some people might be deficient in zinc, some people might be deficient in magnesium, some people might not be. So there's no point taking something that's going to waste everyone's time. You need to get the correct, uh, the correct sort of mineral at the correct dose and the same with the skin so we need to try and correct the, the fatty acid disturbance we need to try and correct the hydration and we need to correct the ph